Are your SDXL generations taking way too long? Well, in today's video, I'll give you eight tips that will help get things back up to speed. SDXL 1.0 is a progressive step and definitely more demanding. A standard render size of 1024 by 1024 might take a bit longer than usual. But if you're seeing five to 10 minute generations, there's definitely something wrong, so let's fix it. Running on automatic 11.11, SDXL is a resource hog, hungry for your RAM and VRAM. If your system peaks while creating an image, it can slow down or halt the process. So kill all unnecessary applications. And yes, this includes your legion of Chrome tabs. It might be helpful to have Task Manager open while running a generation to identify the bottlenecks. If you're running a GPU with 8 gigs or less of VRAM, it's highly recommended that you add dash dash med VRAM to your launch options for automatic 11.11. To add this, head over to your A11.11 folder, open the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, right click on the Windows batch file named Web UI dash user, and click edit. Add the command beside set command line arcs. Then click File, Save, and you're good to go. If you're using an NVIDIA card, you can also add dash dash Xformers. Xformers is a bit of Python magic that helps optimize render times with NVIDIA cards. If you're getting this error on startup, you're going to want to go over to your A1111 folder, then Stable Diffusion Web UI, then Modules, right-click on paths underscore internal dot py, edit with notepad, and add dash dash xformers between the quotation marks where you see this. Hit save and restart automatic 1111. Now this one is a bit of a game changer. Not only does Chrome love to hog your RAM, it can also make itself home in your VRAM. To stop Chrome from using your GPU, head over to Chrome settings, then advanced, then turn off hardware acceleration. This isn't necessary for Chrome browsing and it can make a big difference in stable diffusion. Automatic 11.11 is designed to work specifically with Python 3.10.6. To check the version you're using, type run in Windows search, then CMD to open a command line, then enter Python dash dash version. If it's not Python 3.10.6, you're going to want to remove it. The easiest way to do that is through add and remove programs in Windows. You can download and install the correct version of Python using the link in the description. SDXL 1.0 is brand new, so I might not be playing nice with some of the extensions you have installed. The best way to test this is to disable all your extensions in Automatic 11.11. Click on the Extensions tab. Under Disable All Extensions, choose All. Then click Apply and Restart UI. If the generation times are much better, you can go back and enable your extensions in order of importance to try and find the culprit. Now I know I just told you to disable all extensions, but if that didn't help, adding this extension just might. Mioshu AI Assistant has a bunch of useful tools, one of which is to get a clearer glimpse of your system information, including your available VRAM. If you notice for some reason your VRAM usage wasn't released during a previous task, you can click Force VRAM Release to clear that up immediately. You can also set up your launch argument settings, add the command line arguments we talked about previously, and optimize Automatic 11.11 for your VRAM size. The latest version of Automatic 11.11 has improved SDXL handling. Updating can be a calculated risk because new versions usually break things, but it could solve your issue if nothing else works. To update Automatic 11.11, go to your Stable Diffusion Web UI folder and click on the address bar. Type CMD and then git pull to update to the latest version. If you get an error, try git pull with the latest code URL from GitHub, link in the description. The simple truth is that for now, SDXL is simply resource intensive. Your current system just may not be able to render quick images. Upgrading your RAM and graphics card could help the situation, but if you don't want to drop a ton of cash, using Google Colab to do the heavy lifting might make more sense until more optimizations follow. Hey, thanks for sticking with me to the end. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know in the comments if these suggestions worked for you or if you've discovered any other useful tricks to speed up SDXL. Catch you next time.